I attract money, wealth is in my reach. I got everything I want and everything I need. I keep my mind open, abundance overflows. I budget right and I know where all my money goes. I am debt free and money works for me. Money in my sleep, a magnet for prosperity. Ain't nothing wrong. What up, Kingdom Builders? Welcome back to my channel. I am Ebony Yvonne, your favorite business strategist in these internet streets. Welcome to Soul Shook Land. This is my internet home where I help you to go from confused to the cash generating boss that we both know you are meant to be. In today's video, I'm going to give you two key ways to know that your clients, your students are getting success in your program and your program is doing what it's supposed to do. So if you are someone who's a coach or consultant and you wanna make sure that your clients are hitting their milestones, stick around. And if you are an online course creator, you want to make sure that your students are getting the results that you promised them i'm going to give you two key ways to identify if your program is working or not so full transparency you guys when i first came up with the idea for this video it was just going to be a total rant about gas lighting coaches okay because i am so over coaches that are telling you that you need to raise your prices when they don't even know what your current price is how you gonna tell somebody they need to raise a price and you don't even know what they currently charging raising your prices is not always the solution sis come on and then you have those gaslighting coaches that if you don't get results in the program, it's like, it's you. If you're not getting the results, it's because you didn't do the work. Sometimes it's not the client, it's your program. <laughs> I hate to be the one to tell you that. Okay, now listen, as a coach, I am going to say this. I know that there are some people, the majority of people, that sign up for courses, sign up for programs, they don't show up, they don't do the work, they purchase it, and then it ends up sitting on a shelf somewhere collecting dust, and because they didn't do the work, they don't get the results, right? Yes, those type of clients and students do exist, but sometimes that is not the case. So I am a part of a program that I'm not gonna lie, when I first joined, it was a little bit misleading. Yes, I did get results from it, but I was further along than the average person that comes into this program. I already had um, a built online audience. I already had an existing email list. So it was a lot easier for me to actually benefit from the program than those people who are truly coming in and starting from scratch, okay? So, um, someone made a post about feeling like they wasted their money on the program and about 70% of the responses were all comments like this. People saying, yes, I feel like I wasted my money. Oh my gosh. Or I thought I was the only one. I feel like I was lied to. The, the marketing message was very misleading. And this is something that comes up a lot in the coaching space. A lot of people use tactics and strategies to get clients where it's really transactional based. It's all about how many people can I roll in? How many people can I get to sign up? and they don't really focus on making sure that the people who do sign up get the desired result that they want and the results that were promised all right but you're not going to be like that because you're here and everybody that subscribes to this channel right here is more about serving their customers they're about impact they're about influence and they're about doing business with intent with purpose with soul so that you can actually not only build your bank account but help increase the quality of life for other people as well right if you're the only person that's benefiting from your business this is not the channel or the community for you okay <laughs> all right so now that we got that out the way let's get back to the regular schedule program i'm going to give you two key ways that you can know if your students are getting the success that you promised and the first thing that you can look at is your success rate Y'all know I am a numbers girl, okay? I always like to look at the data, see what the data is telling me because numbers don't lie, 
at least in most cases they don't all right so you can look at your success rate of all the people that join your program that sign up for your course how many of those people complete the whole program how many of those people get the result that you promised them how many of those people fall off during the program right if you look at the data you can see how many people are actually completing all of your curriculum and then you can see of those people who complete the curriculum how many of those people actually get the result that they want and this is a problem that i have with a lot of coaches right a lot of people will focus on the few when you look at testimonials people typically will have the testimonials of their star students their best clients that got the best results right so you could have someone who has a hundred students in their program and only had 10 people get results but they will highlight those 10 people and tend to forget about the other 90 people just because those 10 people got results and i don't want you to be that coach okay again this goes to not just being transactional but really having a servitude attitude towards your business and really wanting to show up so that people can be transformed by your program and by the content that you're putting out so look at the success rate and then that will tell you how many people are actually completing your program and it will also let you know the key indicators to see if people are getting the results that you promised them a good program should have at least an 80 percent success rate if your success rate is less than 80 percent i want you to look at your curriculum look at your milestones and go back and see what needs to be tweaked so that you can actually fix it so that you're actually delivering on your promise which leads me to key number two which is actually looking at the common speed bumps or roadblocks inside of your program this is something that i do inside of kingdom coins all the time and i can honestly say i am now going into kingdom coins version 3.0 and i think i have finally worked out all the kinks okay and um basically what i want you to do is to look for speed bumps or roadblocks right so a speed bump is going to be something that slows people down literally just like a speed bump when you're driving through like a school zone and you, maybe not a school zone but maybe like a neighborhood where there's children present right you have a speed bump there that makes you go the speed limit makes you slow down makes you pay attention to what's going on around so a speed bump is going to slow you down look for places in your course or in your coaching program where people tend to slow down typically when someone enrolls into a program they're excited they they have all this energy and momentum going into it and then all of a sudden it starts to slow down and it starts to fizzle typically when that happens is because something gets hard um, people get frustrated people aren't sure about something and it causes people to slow down it causes them to doubt themselves and if they get stuck on something and they don't know what to do then in most cases people just don't do anything and they stop so look for points like that in your curriculum where you notice that people tend to slow down all right um something else that you can look at is you can look at roadblocks so roadblocks are pretty much just like your speed bumps but where speed bumps are pretty much designed where people slow down you know it may take them a while to get past that mile, that milestone or that lesson a roadblock is something that makes them come to a complete stop so it's like they cannot move forward until they complete this step and they haven't completed it so if you notice that a large amount of your people are stopping at a particular point you may want to just jump on a call with those people or send out an email survey and say hey i noticed that a lot of people get stuck on this lesson in this module is there anything i could do to help do you have questions is there something that i could add that would make this more beneficial or helpful to you okay 
don't be afraid to ask your community what it is that they want ask them for feedback about your program your curriculum i guarantee you they will be happy to tell you and it will help you to actually improve your content and improve your program for future students that you may have all right so those are two ways that you can basically assess how good your program is and if you notice that your your success rate is low then try looking for those speed bumps and roadblocks and ways that you can actually improve your program so that you can get people to the promised land where you said that you were going to take them all right so let me know down in the comments below this video did you find these tips helpful have you already taken an assessment like this about your programs what are some of the roadblocks or speed bumps that you notice um do you need help figuring out where to identify these things let me know in the comments below this video and i will be there to help you out all right until i upload the next video just like this one y'all already know the drill make sure you hit that subscribe button right there and in the meantime until i upload another video you can always check out one of these two videos right here